Okay, so for the benefit of any of you who have, I don't know, been living under a rock on Mars, yesterday was the Antoinette Perry Awards, or as us scum, we're scum basically, us scum call the Tony Awards. And the Tony Awards, if you're unsure, which you really shouldn't be, celebrate excellence in Broadway, in live Broadway theatre. Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh, theatre, God, I don't know. And you're thinking, you're feeling inferior. Well, so you should be if you're not a fan of the arts. You're scum. I just want to say this. Uh, I think we should all make an effort at least once a year to go to our local theatre, right? Or even not your local one. If you're in London, you know, doing stuff that people do in London, head to Leicester Square, watch Chicago. And then at least you can feel vaguely more sophisticated than you actually are. And then when someone brings up a conversation, you might not realise that they think you're a fucking idiot, but you can feel when you say, oh, I went to see Chicago last year in, in Leicester Square. You can, you can feel more involved in the conversation. Point of this video, um, yesterday was the Tony Awards and I think the best thing about the Tony Awards is this feeling I get that the gods are coming down from Mount Olympus and they're imparting their wisdom with, with the scum, with us, you know, with the hoi polloi. They're gonna tell us how, what, what we can do to mitigate these, to navigate these very difficult times that we are traversing at the moment, you know? We live in very polarised, very divided times. And these Olympians are going to tell us, these titans of culture, the presenters and the nominees at the Tony Awards are going to show us the way. How can we bring back the unity? How can we get back to being a functioning society? Hmm? Let's find out. Anti-Semitism, white supremacy, homophobia, transphobia, and trans, non-binary, gender non-conforming human. Oh, seems us scumbags have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew. That's quite a lot to process. Let's slow down. We'll start with a speech from Denae Benton. Earlier tonight, CMU and the Tony Awards presented the 2023 Excellence in Theatre Education Award. And while I am certain that the current Grand Wizard, I'm sorry, excuse me, Governor of my home state of Florida, will be changing. <laughs> <laughs> Very bold and brave. <laughs> please, please, please. Very bold and brave. Very bold and very brave of Dene Benton to get up there in front of a load of bloody theatre workers. We know what a bigoted industry that is. And dare to criticise democratically elected Governor Ron DeSantis and make the very fair comparison between him and the international leader of the KKK, a grand wizard. Balls of steel! So kudos for that, but more importantly is the message of unity that that brings. By shaming the scum into voting for the people that they like, these cultural icons like Danae Benton are helping to build a much more homogenous and therefore harmonious society, which after all is what the Tony Awards are all about. Okay, so let's take a look at Best Director winner Michael Arden's acceptance speech for his play, Parade. Oh God. This belongs to the battalion of people who made Parade and who bring it to life so beautifully and, and terrifyingly every night. You are amazing this morning. You're amazing every day. Thank you. Uh, Parade tells the story of a life that was cut short at the hands of uh, the belief that one group of people is more or less valuable than another and that they might be more deserving of justice. This is a belief that is the core of anti-Semitism, of white supremacy, of homophobia, of transphobia, and intolerance of any kind. We must come together. We must battle this. It is so, so important, or else we are doomed to repeat the horrors of our history. Wow, that musical sounds like a hoot. I agree, we do have to avoid the horrors of our history. I just wish sometimes that I could avoid the horrors of our present. And to our beautiful trans, non-binary, queer youth, know that your queerness is what makes you beautiful. Is it though? 
everyone in this room sees you and needs you, and we will fight alongside you, and we will win. Now, some of you might think that sounds a bit ominous, a bit fighty. In a fight, they're going to win. But I think it reinforces the message of unity that the Tony Awards are clearly trying to promote. They're going to fight, they're going to win. So if you haven't already, you might as well sur uh, not surrender. Join them, you know, unity. Let's take a look at another one of last night's winners. Jay Harrison. Thank you. My mother raised me to... Yeah. My mother raised me to understand that my gifts that God gave me were not about me. To use them to be effective in the world, to help somebody else's journey. Well, this person's gifts are certainly helping me on my journey. My journey to the bathroom to vomit from all the cringe. Um, so thank you for teaching me how to live, how to love, how to give. For every trans, non-binary, gender non-conforming human, whoever was told you couldn't be, you couldn't be seen, this is for you. <laughs> Is the beating of here, there, hideous hand? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm already feeling really patri- enlightened. Let's take a look at another speech by Alex Newell. I have wanted this my entire life. I thank each and every one of you in this room right now. And mommy, I love you. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank you for teaching me what strength is to my entire building and cast and crew of Shucked. You are my rock. I love you all. Ugh, is that all you've got? Gratitude. Come on, I'm a cis white man here. I'm trying to better myself. Where's the lecture? Thank you for seeing me, Broadway. I should not be up here as a queer, non-binary, fat, black, little baby from Massachusetts. Ah, uh, last. That's what I'm here for. I want all your intersectional data. <laughs> <laughs> she was running out of breath trying to say all the things she is. Queer, non-binary, fat, black, little baby. Uh, queer, non-binary, black, white, tall, short, fat, thin, my baby, old person. And to anyone that thinks that they can't do it, I'm going to look you dead in your face that you can do anything you put your mind to. Anything. Do you think one day... I could become the number one gossip bitch on the internet. Someday, people will fear me like Mike David on Red Bar Radio. No, not you, Waddy! Don't do those voices. Never do those voices. And now for the icing on the cake. What exhibition of stunning bravery would be complete in 2023 without an appearance from our favourite girl in her 400th and something day of girlhood now? Take it away, Dylan. Start spreading the news. It's the Tony Awards! I'm headed to my very first Tony Awards with Meta. This is my Super Bowl, y'all. I think most of you already know this, but I am like the biggest theater girl. I started dance class when I was three years old, and the first show I ever performed in was High School Musical when I was 10, and I played Ryan back then, but now I would obviously play Sharpay. And, oh, the first musical I saw on Broadway was Wicked, and I got my degree in musical theater, so this is like a very big night for me, and I really want to get back to theater, and, oh my gosh, okay, I have to show you the dress. Are you ready? And here's the dress. Christian Siriano came through. I love you, Christian. And, oh my God, we're going to be late. Let's go. Go to the Tonys. The Tony Awards, here we come. Love ya. Dylan, look at right here on your right. What a time to be alive. And I know I say that a lot, but it really is. It's a great, it's an amazing time to be alive. And I'm also aware that it's a Simpsons quote, and uh, uh, I've been open about that. 
Okay, I'm not the kind of person who goes to parties and, you know, says Simpsons quotes you know, whilst trying to, you know, convince everyone that they're not Simpsons quotes, that I came up with them. I'm not, I don't go to parties. So, uh, I think I'm getting a little bit paranoid recently because I've been watching a lot of Mike David on Red Bar Radio and uh, I'm sort of thinking about if I get bigger than I currently am and he does a takedown video of me, you know, he tries to get into my head. I'm trying to preempt all the shitty things he'll say about me being derivative and unoriginal. And I'll just be here like, I know, all right. I can, you know, shut up, Mike David. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Make me big enough to get taken out by Mike David. That'd be, that'd be a cool thing wouldn't it? Do you all know who Mike David is? Probably not. Like, share, subscribe, all of that kind of stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Look at the shame, you bitch.